Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We have everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Railgun Season 3, this being episode 15. We're going to hop into this episode, everyone, and see what we're going to have. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started in 3, 2, 1, play. Your boy finally got a haircut. You guys see this? It's a, it's a miracle. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, finally. I know, right? I was getting sick of it. Honestly, like my hair was almost in my eyes and that's just not me, right? This is not something I really like. I finally got someone to, to cut it for me because I didn't go to like a barber shop. I had someone like come to my house because that's how long the wait was for certain places. But besides that, uh, what we're actually here for, you know, Railgun, previous episodes of Stuff with the Dragons was just bonkers to, to say the least, right? Definitely one of my favorite episodes of Railgun, what we had in the previous episode. Gunha as well. Just the way they animated it, they, they, they went in. With all these things against them, like the delays and the, the you know, coronavirus and all of that, they're still knocking out of the park with a lot of shit. You know, you know, they really are. So, yeah, I think this right here, though, is going to be the last episode of, of this arc. Uh, and then we're going to have a long break. I was saying, I was hearing it was going to be like two weeks or three weeks after this episode. But apparently it's going to be almost like a whole month. Because we're not going to get the next episode till I think July 24th. And that'll start the next arc. So. Which, judging from the promotional stuff for this episode, looks like they're going to go more into like the, you know, Mitori backstory with like Misaki and Dolly, I'm assuming. So they're going to leave us off on that note. Which is probably going to hit me in the feels. It probably will. I'm calling it. I mean, because, I mean, the first episode we had with Dolly and Misaki and whatnot. That hit me in the feels. So, we'll see, though. We'll see. Young meat, young meatory. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly, yeah. Really, really sucking up to him. In this, in this world, yeah. Especially in this world, like, researchers are a big thing with it. You know, for us, school, like, that influenced us a lot. Like, what we were learning and how the teachers treated us or acted to us or how they were with us, like... Acting all friendly is more exhausting than the experience. <laughs> Almost caught ya. It's probably Dolly, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Oh my god, I already know this is gonna destroy me, man. Or it's just gonna give me my feels like the stuff with Misaki did. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. She was just waiting though because she thought maybe they were going to turn her down, but then she actually said yes. So. <laughs> Aw, so that's where the Mee Chan comes Because all you guys are calling her Mee Chan. I'm like, why are they calling her Mee Chan? But that's where, that's where it comes from. She was she was playing with her every day, huh? <laughs> Aw. Just so sad though, because her Dolly's whole purpose, whole thing about her she was an experiment subject. That's literally it. That's all like you could say her purpose in life is. I don't know, this gave something else to her life, if anything, you know? Like, meeting Mitori, spending time with her, Misaki. That's what they tell her. 
like a little sister. Are they talking about like another? I'm sure that's referring to like another clone, right? That's where didn't she say that to Misaki? Like that's where she that was her dream to go to the ocean, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it's like she was just sitting at the door waiting for her. <laughs> uh, so adorable, man. So freaking adorable. The sadness you can you can sense or get from that tone in her voice, like it's not right, dude. She wasn't putting out a front. Yeah, she wasn't putting on an act. She didn't have to, right? Because this is just... That's Dolly for you. Oh, there's Misaki right there. Oh. And, yeah. So you saw something you shouldn't, you shouldn't have saw. But yeah, like the devices, like her body breaking down... We we learned about some of this with uh, Misaki. I'm surprised they didn't put this actually with that. Kind of putting it at the end here. I, I thought this would have been like right after that or like in the same, you know, part. She's taking that risk. That's how much she means to her. That's how much Dolly means to her. She's taking her, took a risk here. Yeah, so the experiments, the devices, the everything that they they've been doing to her, like no regard for her health, no regard for her life, no regard for like like I said before in my reaction when we saw her with Misaki, like they don't care about her, they don't give a shit. They're gonna do something to you, Mitori. If yeah, yeah, they probably wouldn't believe you, but they're probably about to do something to you. Like, make sure you can't say anything just in case. Even the governing board, so many twisted. personalities and just or people I should say not personalities but I guess you could put that together people just in Academy City we know this though we know this nothing new and we saw her being used when exterior was completed so that actually ended up happening or she was somehow used alongside with it, right? She was, in a way, affiliated. Yeah, they locked her up. I kind of felt like that was going to happen, her doing that. They were going to do something to her.
just didn't even like check on her didn't let her out or anything like hey we're gonna leave this place we're gonna desert it let's just you know we'll just who cares about her we'll just leave her there and she drew blood to herself how long is she in there Looks like she lost like 50 pounds, maybe. So this is how she started working under Gensei. Don't touch her. And he touches her. Of course. Don't let him touch you. Smack his hand away. <laughs> Bite him or that. Or that. <laughs> so this was the perfect time for Gensei to meet her. When she was at a point like this. So of course she was going to go with, with, he, uh, with what he wanted. Yeah, you just love the feed off that, huh, man? You just love that. Just... Back in the present time, isn't this when Misaki found her? Uh, okay. So... Oh yeah, we already saw this. It makes sense why they put it where they did. I think I feel like they could have put it along with the. You know, when we first got the Dolly stuff too. But at that point, Mitori was like a mystery to us. We didn't really know what the hell was up with her, like who she was. And now that we do, whatever's about to happen here, it, it makes sense why they put it here. We about to have a talk, or she she has she has plans, plans with you. I don't even want want to put that in a negative way either. Both are familiar and new Dolly. That's what she was, that's what Dolly was talking about. A sister that she never even got to meet. Mis Misaka Network? Yeah. So in a way, this would kind of be meeting her again. In a way, if the memories and whatnot are there. Not necessarily. <laughs> man, they got oh man, that looks that looks that looks good. That looks good. Oh, she's out of that thing finally. Let's go. <laughs> I liked I liked uh, wheelchair Kuroko, but I would prefer her out of it. Obviously. 
<laughs> How ironic. How ironic. S Sata was, uh, was that just me though? Sata looking at her opine and she pulls out a thing of milk, right? That was a thing of milk. <laughs> they, they had to be just, they, they did that intentionally. <laughs> Or am I just a perv? I might just be. I don't know. She exclude you from that? Maybe? Yeah, 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 that's what I was thinking. It sounds like she was just excluded from the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> Which the substance on the ground with, like, the, the, the thing that happened with Tom and the Dragons, like you guys are saying, apparently that stuff on the ground was was shadow metal we saw some of that so it wasn't just like a fake thing right or a, a legend i don't even think satan saw it or like got to see it or anything like that <laughs> i wonder if that's gonna come up again or is gonna be important again i mean maybe it is if it has to do anything with toma it's like his power in a way maybe I don't know. The the beach, the ocean. I was wondering about that. I was wondering, because she said she was acting as her, as Michan. So she was able to differentiate between the two of them. she is ah uh, they're playing this music too man you know this is about to hit you you know this is about to hit i'm trying to tell who's singing this song though mitri is about to start crying man instantly she knew so in a way it's like it's a reunion because it's like the memories and all that is still there Aw, instant tears, man. Instant tears. Aw. That wasn't why she ran away. That wasn't why she didn't come back. It's because these asshole scientists. These assholes. Sounds like Sajo Nohana. I think they're doing the next ED, aren't they? It sounds like them. She remembered Misaki too. Misaki was trying to walk away like uh, she didn't want to be pulled into this. She's like, like Mitori said, she's very keen. Yeah, I think it is Sajo Nohana. Aw, man.
Misaki getting like this on me though? No, man. She would have learned about it earlier, like. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Let let's start with the beach. Let's start with the beach, man. Dude, the voice, the voice acting. She said she'd do anything. Ah. <sighs> oh my god, Misaki crying. What is this? What is this? What? Oh, dude. What the hell, man? Can't be toy with my emotions like this because it's like happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, sad, happy, sad. You know, it's like. Isaka Emoto's good now. In unison, does this happen at the same time? The ocean, Misaka Emoto, yo. Uh, well, it's not really Dolly, but it's like, I guess you could, ah, uh, a strange sense that you have deja vu there thinking about that at the same time. Look at that shot there, though, of them at the ocean, man. <sighs> wow. That's a way to leave off an arc. I was, like, I was saying, it makes sense why they kind of put it here. I, I feel like they could have done it before, but... I think it actually works out better. I know I was questioning that, but I think it actually works out better having it where it is here. But oh, Misaki breaking down like that and cr like I know that was the last thing I was expecting, right? To see her crying, especially you know. Ah, I'm just so happy that in any capacity they are they are reunited, you know. Which, I, like I was saying, I guess you could technically say it's Dolly. They said it's kind of put it as... I, it was Sajo Nohana. I was right, by the way, uh, about that song. Which I think they're doing the next ED, right? So was maybe... Was that the ED song for the next half? Unless that was just another special song. I have no idea. But that shit was beautiful. And right when it started playing, I was like, oh, man, this is about to... This is about to kind of mess me up. But, um... What was I even saying? What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying, but the, the, them reuniting was just was just fabulous. It, oh, I think I was going on about the Dolly thing, like how it's not really her; it's just like a clone or a, a sis, another sister, whatever you want to say. But the memories and all that were still there, so it was sort of like it was Dolly, essentially. So in a way, they can still all be together and, and, and reunited because we know like the original Dolly is is you know no longer with us. So, man, the voice acting though too, like from Misa, you know, from Misaki, like her breaking down, even the even Mitori in 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 Dolly, the the sister here, that was um, all, like the voice acting was just so superb, especially for that scene, you know, ah, uh, and then the music added on top of it in the in. The, the deja vu, Misaki Moto, like, thinking of the same thing. Obviously, like, you know, the, the, with the Misaka network and all that, the connection there. She was thinking of the same thing, wanting to go to the ocean, man. Imagine, like, all of them at the ocean, dude. Ah. Oh. But just seeing the three of them, you know, Mitori, Misaki, and, 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 uh, and, and Dali, and the sister being there. That's, that's all, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. So, I... I I guess maybe Mitori and Misaki are going to be kind of like, I don't know if they're going to be like a duo necessarily, but I guess they're going to be spending more time together. They're going to be a lot closer. I mean, they are close. 
definitely now, I would say, after this. And, and I mean, maybe, I don't know how much we're going to actually see of of Dolly here, uh, uh, you know, further on in the series, but she, she, I guess she might pop up occasionally. We might see her again, right? That That leaves that open for sure. Like, I feel like this just, after this, I feel like they wouldn't make it to where we don't see her anymore, the three of them together anymore, or something like that, you know? But going into things from Mitori's perspective in this episode, because we knew there was something there, especially from, like, the visuals. They kind of teased at that. Um, they, they finally went into that because we had sort of Misaki's perspective on it and what was going on with that. Um, and we it actually made things make more sense, getting it from Mitori's perspective, right? Um, like, the whole Michan thing and how Misaki was acting like Michan, you, you know, but, like, eventually Dolly figured out, okay, that this was Misaki, that this was a totally different person. Very, very uh, keen observation. Smart, you, you know? And, I mean, man, like, I know we say it all the time, but just these asshole scientists, right? Mo the, the, the majority of them, you know, the majority of them. And, like, some of them are just really messed up in the head, you, you know? But when you really look at it, some of them are just doing their jobs, right? So it's like, it's kind of hard because I feel like so, a lot of these scientists don't really have ill intentions or anything like that. They don't have like bad intentions. There are some obviously that do. We know this. But I mean, some of them are just doing their job. Like this is their occupation. This is what they do. So it's like, I, I would say it's more so, you more so have to blame the people especially the people above that are orchestrating this whole thing, whether it's like the, the, you know, the governing board and, you know, who's at the top, which I don't know, like, Al like would you say Alistair and, and whoever else is at the top, right? The, you know, the, the, the big bodies. I'd say them are more so to blame. But like I said, there are still some people that are just kind of not there in the head. They're, they're, they're screwed up and they're, they're evil. So... You can't really blame, I guess, the higher-ups even for that. But it's like when you have someone who's already crazy and then the governing board telling them to do some shit like this, they go wild. They go nuts, you know? So, and that's what we saw, not just in Railgun, but in Index, in just, in just the whole franchise in general. So, I mean, damn, man. But um, this was fabulously done, I gotta say. And it would make sense that Mitori and, and, and Misaki kind of stick together. Or, or maybe they're a duo. I'm not sure. But maybe they stick together more and we see more of them together you know, into the future. That, that would definitely make sense. Or I, at least that's what I would hope for, you know. So, yeah, I think that about does it for this episode of Railgun. What, what, a, what, what, a, what a trip. What a trip, right? Because uh, it was just like a mix of emotions. Like, especially how in the middle of it, they went to us cheering for for Kuroko's you know party for her get well you know, she, that she got well party like they did that and then they came back to it and the music started playing I was like oh this, this ain't cool man this ain't cool but I, I don't know it was still perfectly done it was it was executed very well uh, I would say and it, it was a good note a very strong note to leave off this arc on so i guess the next episode we'll have will be like at the end of july towards the end of july and we're gonna start like the dream i think it's called the next episode called dream ranker i think the arc is actually called that yeah so uh, we'll be hopping into the next arc whenever we get the next episode guys uh let me know what you all thought of this episode if you guys did enjoy my reaction make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching peace out